It's not something you see every day. A bright red cow-sized robot against a green backdrop of rolling pastures. But despite looking out of place, Swagbot is the field worker of the future. Once the animals, once the cattle are used to the robot, um, they will follow the robot around. And so if you move to certain parts of the pasture, the animals will follow through. And, and if you stop, then they'll stop and they can graze that particular part. And why that's important is because um, if you overgraze, then you ruin the pasture. And so you don't want to overgraze. So you want to move the animals to the right part of the pasture where there's good protein, good carbs. When it was launched in 2016, Swagbot's only job was herding cattle. Now sensors and AI give the smart cow the power to do much more. You can actually measure the property of the animal's motion um, as it's moving along, so we, what we call its gait, so how it's actually moving. And if you measure that information over a number of different days, you start to build up a characteristic profile of that animal. And from that, you can determine whether or not the animal is healthy or not healthy at a particular point in time along that, uh, along that path. But also we can sense it, we can sense a collection of animals and where they're moving as a, as a herd. And that tells us also information about the herd characteristics. And why those two things are important is that if the robot's going around and measuring pasture and measuring quality of pasture, it can actually determine where the best part of the land is for the animals to move to. Australia is a top global producer of beef, but overgrazing can hurt already poor pastures. Swagbot's creators hope to eliminate that issue. The population of the world is growing. Um, and we have the same amount of land to feed that population and so maximising how much food we deliver for the same amount of imports, or even less in terms of the imports, is what's important. And the only way we can do that is with precision agriculture and doing that on such large scales needs robotics. Linda Kincaid, CNN.